Welcome back to RCR Wireless News. We're here with Jeff Lime. He is Vice President of Ventive Wireless Infrastructure as part of Tesco Technologies. Jeff, we hear a lot about overloaded cellular bandwidth, but it's actually also happening with Wi-Fi now too. And you are on the forefront of helping enterprise customers and service providers address that. So give us a little bit of in insight about what you're showing here. Great, thank you. Yes, that's absolutely a problem that we are working to solve. As you heard Mr. Barnhill talk about, Ventive is all about meeting unmet needs in the marketplace, and we design products and solutions that, that help our customers deploy Wi-Fi and deploy cellular in a proper way in their intended environment. So we don't make the radio at Ventive, but we make all of the accessories that support the deployment of that radio in its intended environment. One of those accessories that we make are antennas. And what's happening in the marketplace, specifically in Wi-Fi, is that through the years, coverage has been the term that people have been trying to solve. Do I have Wi-Fi coverage here? Well, now coverage is pretty much where you need it. The problem is capacity. You're getting a number of users now with multiple devices in an area, all those devices wanting Wi-Fi at the same time. So as you start to get more users and more devices in the same area, coverage is no longer enough. Now you need to manage the capacity and bandwidth in that area, and there's multiple ways to solve that. One way is putting more access points in that area, more Wi-Fi radios in that area. The problem with that is if you don't manage the signal, you're going to get a lot of interference between those access points, and your throughput still suffers as a user. So take a simple example, like a, a lecture hall, a classroom. Students used to come, and maybe half the students had, at, had a Wi-Fi device. So let's take a classroom where you have 300 students in a lecture hall. Five years ago, 100 of them might have had a wireless device. Today, all 300 students have at least one device. They've got their cell phone. They also have a laptop. And many of them have a tablet. So you could have anywhere from 600 to 900 devices in that one area asking for Wi-Fi. So as you put in more access points to serve that audience, you also need to segment the room and map those access points to the user so that you're mapping 30 students per access point, let's say, and you're allowing those 30 students to have access to one Wi-Fi radio, we make the antennas that direct the signal in a narrow beam width to segment that room. Our products enable the mapping of that room. So that's one of the things that we do at Ventive is help our customers solve, ch solve challenging problems by putting the right accessory, in this case an antenna, on that access point. What we're talking about here today at CTIA and what we've launched is now we're going into large public venue environments stadiums, arenas, convention centers like this one, where you've got a number of users who have that same problem, and they have multiple devices. But in some of these places, you don't have the infrastructure to mount the antennas and shoot the signal in the right places. Take a convention center where you have a very, very high ceiling. How do you get that signal to the floor, right? You need the right antenna. You need an antenna with high gain and narrow beam width to get that signal to that audience. Take a stadium. In many stadiums, you have a roof or a back wall. In some stadiums, it's an open air stadium. Some of these beautiful baseball stadiums or some of these older college football stadiums where you don't have any infrastructure to mount anything, what do you do? So that's where we've launched something like this, which is, this is our new handrail antenna. This is designed specifically to mount to the handrail system in a, as you're going up and down the stands, it's an angled antenna to fit inside that handrail and keep all the clearances around the handrail so the American disability still, still meets its regulations. But you're directing the Wi-Fi and getting the Wi-Fi down to those front sections of seats where you can't reach them with an antenna from the back wall. So this is a really exciting new product that's allowing stadium owners, arena owners, indoor concert theater or orchestra halls to give the signal where it needs to go. So do you find that a lot of the same venue owners that you may work with on a DAS installation are also looking for this type of solution concurrent with that? That's a great question. Um, one of the things that's happening in the marketplace is that the macro cell sites are being overloaded and they can't handle the throughput. Uh, I have personal experience where you come out of a college football game and you're trying to connect with your family and you can't get a signal, right? You're smiling. I'm sure you've had a similar experience, right? Exactly, and you can't get a signal. So DAS is a, and now small cell are two cellular technologies that are enabling us to offload off the macro tower to a more micro site and bring that signal to the audience. But now there's another, there's another phenomenon, the data explosion. It's not just voice, right? It's data. And there's so much data being um, sent through the airways 
that you need Wi-Fi as a third technology to offload a lot of that data stream, right? So yeah, we're starting to see the same customers now starting to offload cellular onto Wi-Fi, which also enables a lot of these Wi-Fi products to go into places where you might normally see a cellular product. Right, and, and I guess that, um, is there any software that's common to all of these? I mean, at some point, I know people want to move seamlessly without knowing when they're going from cellular to Wi-Fi. So there's a technology that's being worked on now called Hotspot 2.0, yeah. right? So Hotspot 2.0 is all about uh, between Wi-Fi access points having that handoff, seamless handoff, like you have with, uh, with cellular today. Uh, it's, not a, it's not out there yet, it's something being worked on. And then there's another set of standards being worked on to allow Wi-Fi to be handed off to cellular seamlessly. So these are future technologies that are helping the tsunami of data explosion be managed properly and give people the experience that they want. But today, they are really operated as two separate networks, the cellular network and the Wi-Fi network. Uh, and what we focus on are the accessories for both cellular and Wi-Fi, again, what we really specialize in is, you can put a radio in place, but how are you gonna protect that radio? How are you gonna propagate the RF properly? And how are you gonna really map the signal to the audience that, that, that you're trying to serve? Right. And these are called high density networks and high density environments where we're developing the right products to really support the deployment of those radios. So besides the handrail mount, what are some other form factors that you find are appropriate? So. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in a convention center, you might have a, 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 an antenna, a directional antenna, where you narrow the beam width. Antennas used to be like an incandescent light bulb. You turn it on and it lights up the whole room. Well, then, you, then we developed directional antennas. Now we're de developing directional antennas that really narrow like a spotlight, and now spotlight sections, okay? So that's one type of uh, deployment technology. Another type of deployment technology that we announced recently was an under the seat Wi-Fi system. So another type of open air environment, now you can put the entire access point and antennas using our new Bantam antennas, which are really small dual band uh, Omni antennas, and mount this under a stadium seat behind the, behind the feet. It's in, a, it's in a weather tight enclosure so you can hose down the stadium, wash down, and protect all the electronics. So if you want to deploy the access point with the antenna, we have that kind of a solution. And then uh, another one we just launched is called a guardrail antenna. So we talked about the handrail antenna. So this mounts to a handrail. But also between the seats and the field, you have a guardrail. And between the seats and the concourse, you have a guardrail. So we have another form factor here, which is an antenna in, a, in an enclosure that mounts to the guardrail system. And what's unique about this antenna is not only is it weather, it's in a weatherproof box, but the antenna element inside, the installer, can angle that antenna plus degrees or minus 20 degrees to give the proper angle of, because a baseball stadium's um, angle is less steep than say a football stadium's angle. So you gotta angle that antenna properly to get the right coverage, because on those guardrails, they're basically horizontal. You're gonna shoot straight out or straight back. You gotta angle that antenna to hit the audience, and that's what we've designed into this. All right, excellent. Jeff Line, Ventiv, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much, I appreciated it. That was great. Um, a little bit. Uh, we work mainly 